Hey guys, welcome back to Z Code System in our YouTube channel here, or welcome back to our blog if you're watching this there. Now, today we're going to take a little look at something different than we normally do on Z Code System and our video channel. We're not going to be talking about picks and predictions for an upcoming sports game or uh, from a league around the world. We're going to take a look at a little bit of information on the coronavirus and how it is affecting sports and sports betting right now in the world. So, as we all know, the coronavirus has come out. As we all know, the coronavirus is spreading in parts of the world right now with a reported 85,000 cases reported. And that is the last figure I saw. Some more um, areas are uh, indicating that there are more cases of the coronavirus spreading at the moment. Now, we have seen several canceled sporting events so far, uh, including Formula One's Chinese Grand Prix has been canceled or at least postponed for this year. And word is that there could be three upcoming Formula One races that are going to be either postponed or canceled. And those are the races that are taking place in Asia. And that is going to cost Formula One around $85 million in revenue. We've also seen some soccer games in Europe canceled as well as across Asia. Uh, most recently in Europe, uh, soccer in Italy, where there has been cases reported and there's a big scare about the coronavirus right now, there have been games that have been postponed. And this weekend in the Italian top flight of soccer, Serie A, they're going to be having games played to empty stadiums. They're not allowing fans to come into the stadiums and to congregate uh, in fear of spreading the virus. And so the games will be played behind closed doors. Uh, the Six Nations Rugby Tournament has also seen some postponements. The game between Ireland and Italy that was coming up in Italy has been postponed, uh, with the game possibly taking place later this year if it isn't just called off in uh, in total. Uh, we're also going to be seeing a lot more postponements and cancellations, it looks like, as possibility of the virus spreads. Uh, in Europe, it came from Asia and then it entered Europe through Italy and is apparently making its way north now uh, a bit into Germany, uh, as well as in England, some cases of people coming down with the virus uh, who were not uh, in Italy previously, who did not bring it back with them. Uh, there are some cases coming up uh, in that respect. So there's a good chance that we're going to see a lot more postponements and cancellations to come uh, with different sporting events. For the most part, right now, we're seeing things continue on. Of course, in Italy, we, we are seeing those soccer games being uh, altered uh, where teams are playing behind post uh, closed doors. And there is the chance that, uh, as I said, more games will be postponed or canceled, especially in soccer with the European Championships or the sorry the uh, Champions League and the Europa League uh, in the knockout stages right now. Now, other things, as I said before, Formula One there to lose fifty eight million dollars in revenue if the first three races are postponed or canceled, and those races will be coming from uh, Asia. And as you can see there, the Olympics could also be canceled this year. That's being taken place in Tokyo. Tokyo has, and Japan has, uh, canceled schools for the next few weeks to keep kids from uh, going to, to school and teachers and, and administrators from going to work. So there's a fear that the Olympics could be canceled later this year. But the Olympics are not the only big sporting event that are going on. There's going to be uh, the T20 cricket tournament coming up this year, the European Championships in soccer uh, lots of different things that are going to be going on this year that right now are in danger of being canceled. And this affects uh, lots of revenue with all these sports, uh, these sports organizations, and as well as with sports betting. Uh, bookmakers will be taking a hit this year from the coronavirus, it looks like, and professional bettors will have less opportunities or fewer opportunities to make bets. Uh, of, that they would normally be making, especially on these big major events like the Olympics, like the European Championships or the Formula One races. Now, there, are, like I said earlier, there are over 85,000 cases of coronavirus reported at the moment, and 
it started in China, Wuhan there, uh, moving to other parts of Asia. South Korea has been hit hard by it, uh, and then it moved on to Italy, and now it looks like on to Germany. So uh, cases are spreading in Europe right now, and uh, though I believe in the U.S. the cases are quite minimal compared to other parts of the world. Now, the effects on betting, as I said earlier, professional bettors, they have fewer options for wagering. The big events that sports bettors that you and I would normally bet on, those major events are going to be either postponed or canceled, preventing us from getting the chance to do that this year. And sports books are going to take a hit from taking in money from those usual events. The Olympics are a huge event that uh, is going to be hit hard this year uh, if it is canceled and bookmakers will be as well. But don't forget, we've got the other sporting events. Think about the PGA golf or tennis, how we have athletes traveling around the world for those sports, not talking about domestic team sports like Major League Baseball or the NBA. I'm talking about um, the sports in which we have tennis players and golf players flying to different parts of the world. We might not be seeing that Ryder Cup later this year that is going to be played because of fears of the coronavirus. So, I mean, obviously there's going to be a lot going on, but we're just going to have to see now between now and then in the late summer, early autumn, whether those games and those events can be held. So a lot is to be done and a lot is to be learned still as we are still in the early stages of finding out how the coronavirus will affect sports going forward. So it's definitely some things if you're a sports better and you follow sports just to keep your eye on uh, because you might have to, to keep making those, uh, keep making money at sports betting to put your money somewhere else to wager on other areas or to diversify your bets from what you would normally want to or be betting on. So guys, you can always stay up to date with Z Code System by going over to zcodesystem.com and uh, reading up on all of our blogs there. And you can check out all of our videos here on our YouTube page and get the latest picks from our sports writers and you will be able to stay in the loop. And of course, go over and join our VIP group and you can get all of the great tools at Z Code System to make all of your educated bets on sports, whether it be NHL, NBA, NFL, Major League Baseball, soccer, whatever it is that you want to bet on, you'll be able to find information there and great tools to help you do it. All right, guys, good luck this weekend, and we will see you next week with our next video for Z Code System. Later, guys.